So I'd like to talk about uh, the differences between societies where you have uh, profit-driven societies versus purpose-driven societies. So what I find out is that in the West, it's mainly profit-driven. Uh, and we lack this, this purpose. The purpose meaning uh, working for the society. Uh, if everything is, is about making money, then you forget about what, uh, what originally the, those industries were for. For example, education, healthcare, even defense. You know, when you have defense that is uh, mainly for profit-driven defense, then you actually might get yourself uh, weaker. So uh, to give an example, banks, uh, originally banks were supposed to give loans for entrepreneurs. Now banks, they speculate with the money. They take lots of risk. Uh, so they're not contributing to society. Um, then you have healthcare. Healthcare, it's about pe keeping people uh, healthy. Now, when you have a system that actually is making sure that you are not actually healthy because you, you need to be hooked on that system. Uh, to give an example, in, uh, we in Western society, you go to the doctor when you're sick. In China, for example, you go to the doctor to prevent to be sick. And actually the success fees for the doctor is if you're not sick. So there's a very big, uh, big difference there. Now there's uh, education. Education in the West, you see uh, the students, they come out uh, from university, they graduate, and then they have a huge loans. They have six figures loan. And that loan compared to what they get as a job is impossible to be repaid. So you see, there's a normally education was for the masses and just to improve livel livelihood, because we have made it a business profit driven. Now it it's losing its purpose, orig original purpose, because it's only money driven. Now there's defense and in, uh, industry. Uh, we see there's a lot of waste in the West. Uh, for example, F thirty five in the U S is a is a project of one point five trillion dollars. To whom it benefits? It benefits the military industrial complex. What they wanted to do here was not about defense. You know, it was about doing a toy, making a toy where they could make a lot of money. And now when you see, for example, the defense, air defense of Russia makes this F-35 useless. Uh, then we've seen also the example of uh, the Russian army in Ukraine. You see, you have in the West, the same armament, same tanks that cost four or five times the, the tanks of Russia. So, and plus Russian tanks, they are focusing on durability. In, in the West, you have actually concept in general of what we call planned obsolescence, meaning that they need you to buy every 10 years. It's not supposed to last. The same as your iPhone. You buy an iPhone, but it's planned. It's not gonna last much. So you see, there's a huge difference. That's uh, one of the problems we have, uh, you know, own societies in the West is that it's too much profit-driven, not purpose-driven. For example, when you look at Russia right now, they have a capacity to produce, but because it's a defense base, the purpose is actually defend Russia so you need to have extra capacity that is costing actually but while in the west you're just producing toys whatever you need but it's got to be profit driven you don't need capacity because you're not thinking in terms of the purpose so that's one of the the main problems we have in the west and and the problem is that we uh, it's because it's it's driven by the globalist elites uh that don't think about the people now, uh, I think the, the purpose, when we are talking about the purpose, that, that is the, the highest logical level. There's the why question. There's what and how, and the highest logical level is why. And this is the question of why we do th things, and also the existential questions. And I think, I think that is being important, and that makes a point f of difference major point of difference when it comes to the collective West and the rest of the world.